Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to have a little bit of news as we are only 48 hours away. 48 hours, wow, imagine. It's just incredible how time flies. So two days away from release of Windows, the first wave of Windows 10, which will be to insiders. And of course, I'll be posting lots of videos starting um, July 29th. Uh, the upgrade process, how it went, and all my machines that I upgrade, I'll do videos of that so that you can all see how it goes and how I do it. If you're not really sure you want to do it yourself, you'll have uh, really, you know, step by step instructions. And um, in the first bit of news we have, we're still talking a little bit about updates. Um, there's been, you know, a lot of talk about the Windows update process that um, is automatic in Windows 10 Home. And a lot of people kind of scared, and I think you know it's really overhyped because I don't think it's that scary. But the thing is, is when something goes wrong, of course you hear a lot more about it than when everything goes right, and that's the thing. So some people are scaring others with that. And we did have you know a little bit of news this weekend that some of the updates, one um, security update apparently uh, caused uh, some people to have Internet Explorer crash. That did not happen for me and I've updated my machine with all the updates and I didn't have any problems with that. And um, so um, in my case no problems. Another one was about some people reporting um, problems with the NVIDIA drivers that were trying to update through Windows Update. Uh, but that's one change also in Windows 10 is that before uh, driver updates were always optional and they were in a separate section when you updated. In Windows 10 the driver updates are actually part of the, the updates so um, maybe they should have driver updates kind of optional again. I think that would have been maybe a little better. Some people prefer updating their drivers manually by themselves so uh, I don't know. Uh, it's um, maybe that could be a, a little issue, but because of the talk, Microsoft did issue something called "How to Hide or Block Windows Updates or Drivers Updates in Windows 10 Insider Preview," and it's probably going to work even with the released version. Uh, it's a uh, little uh, program, a little download that you can a package you can download. That's a KB3073930. Uh, I will be posting the link to this page and if you go down they have you know some um, comments on you know instructions on how to uh, if you install the updates and check stuff like that but uh, you'll also have that little line here download the show or hide updates troubleshooter package so when you download it you actually get something like this that I have here on my desktop this little troubleshooter that will check for updates that are to come and also uh, let you hide them which means that they won't install so for example if it's driver updates and they let you uh, also show hidden drivers so uh, or hidden updates so it means that if you hide updates you can go to show hidden updates and have them um, you know put back normally so uh, like here I have those drivers here that I can say well okay no I don't want to have these updates yet so I think I'm gonna you know wait a little bit more before I install those and uh, so you have this new tool available and I'll put the uh, link to that tool in the uh, description below the video so that you can uh, click on it and get the the tool if you want. Another thing also about um, the updates if you're scared is the fact that uh, you can use system restore and if you go to system restore you can uh, you know use a restore point and go back in time. One of the things though of system restore that I want to talk about is the fact that system restore uh, is off on many computers so if you uh, want to you know, make sure that system protection is on and of course I'll have videos on system restore in Windows 10 so check them out make sure that you have restore points uh, for the system restore 
because what happens is when you install the driver system restore automatically creates a restore point so that you can go back in time and if you have a blue screen or a crashing computer you can also use the safe mode to go in system restore and go back in time to fix whatever problem that might have caused and uh, finally another bit of news about uh, Microsoft Edge Microsoft Edge uh, one of the problems with um, Microsoft Edge, you know, a lot of people have been asking me, um, okay, Microsoft Edge, uh, will it support add-ons? Because I can't see it now, and it's not available right now in the Insider Preview. And from what we learned is that Microsoft Edge will not have any add-ons available um, that feature will not be available before Threshold 2 in October, apparently. So um, that's a little surprising. And you know, I would have thought that add-ons would have been available right away with the release, but nope. So uh, and even you know Microsoft, uh, not Microsoft, but Symantec um, that that issues Norton antivirus was saying to users, "Oh, you should use another browser because add-ons are not." Uh, available so it could be more dangerous and so on because antivirus software often put add-ons in the browser to help uh, get more security so no add-ons there but another thing that's interesting though is that when the add-ons are available apparently Microsoft Edge will also be compatible with Chrome uh, um, add-ons so Chrome add-ons are going to be available for Edge that's interesting uh, so if you use some of the uh, Google Chrome add-ons, they'll be compatible here too. So uh, that's maybe a little bit of sad news though, that add-ons are not available right away. But um, that seems the way it's working. So it's uh, interesting to see what's happening in the little news as we get really close to uh, that you know, Wednesday, July 29th release in the first wave. Uh, Microsoft will have parties at their Microsoft stores around the world. Uh, so there's going to be all sorts of little things. And on July 29th, I'll be posting probably a good series of videos, you know, um, many, many videos. What's going to happen uh, if I update my machines, I'll show you the updates. And as soon as we get the updates here on the different computers that I've actually decided to do so, uh, I will be posting the videos of the updates and you'll be able to follow step by step to update your machine if you don't want to do it without some help. And uh, tons of videos of Windows 10 will come this week, that's pretty sure. And lots of news, of course. And uh, if anything goes wrong or anything happens, you'll have it here, that's for sure. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. For any comments, questions, anything you want to know about Windows, uh, please ask and we'll try to answer any questions. And hopefully you'll enjoy our videos and we'll come back.